What's up and welcome to Guangzhou, China. My name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today is day four of our series here in Guangzhou. So yesterday we had an incredible day of eating. We started with some incredibly delicious deep fried wontons. These are some super crispy deep fried wontons. That just looks absolutely incredible. Oh. We also visited the amazing Canton Tower. It is quite a work of art or architecture. And we tried some Michelin recommended Cantonese double boiled soup. This is our double boiled soup served in a whole coconut. I'm gonna start with trying the broth. So if you wanna see any of the videos from the past three days, you can click the link down in the description box. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is Friday morning here in Guangzhou and we have come to Lan Pu Lu, which is home to the Muslim Friday morning market. So I can already smell the roast lamb in the air and this place just looks incredible. So let's go start eating. It's about quarter after 11 here in Guangzhou and Friday morning prayer would have just been finishing recently so the market is just starting to set up. We're gonna kind of just explore and see what looks good, wait until everything's hot and fresh and then start eating. <laughs> Call Okay. We stopped at our first stall today for some roast lamb. I just couldn't pass up. This is honestly meat heaven here at this market. So this is a roast lamb in the Xinjiang province style. So as you can see here, we've got a box. We bought $40 worth, 40 yuan worth. This just looks absolutely incredible. It is rubbed in some spices of some sort, probably some turmeric and then served with some onions over here, you can see, and then some spices down here. I'm guessing it's probably a mixture of some Szechuan peppercorns and some other spices. So let me take this piece here, dip it in a little bit of spice. Let's try that. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. That is absolutely succulent roast lamb. And I was wrong, that's not Szechuan peppercorns. That is cumin and it is full of flavor. Served with some crisp, fresh onions and that lamb is super smoky. And I think it's rubbed in some turmeric and probably some more cumin. Let's just try another bite of this. This is so good. This is meat heaven, oh man. Oh man, that is so juicy and delicious. Let me show you how to assemble the perfect bite of roast lamb. Grab some skin here, rub it in a little bit of cumin, some onions, of course, and then get a piece of meat. Oh, that skin is nice and crispy. Oh man, super smoky too. Wow. Your salad? Salad? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, 
多卖几粒？羊肉还是鸡肉的？羊肉。Probably the most popular dish at this entire market is the pilaf, which is rice cooked in with meat and carrots and all kinds of different things. And we just ordered up a beautiful plate of it here, and also a plate of naan bread. So as you can see here, there is tons of carrots inside of this pilaf. That rice looks nice and juicy. And then we got a piece of roast chicken on top, and then some sort of a salad over here. It looks like probably some onions and some more carrots, and then maybe some chili. And then, of course, our naan bread, which looks like it's been kind of topped with some green onions. And oh man, that feels nice and thick. So let me just rip off a piece of that here, and I'm just gonna grab some rice first to try that with some carrots, and then chase it with some bread. Mmm. Oh man, that's so hearty. Mmm. Oh yeah. Let's try a piece of this chicken now, and with some of this salad. This is honestly so filling and hearty. It's like survival food, but done really deliciously. So let's try this bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there's actually some noodles in there. A little bit of vinegar. I think that salad's a little pickled, and some chilies in there as well. Gives it a nice little spice. And again, you gotta chase that with some of this bread. Let's tear a piece of this off. This bread is a little bit dry and very thick, but goes nicely with the pilaf. Oh man, I love this style of food. My favorite part of the pilaf is definitely the carrots. It makes it really smooth and really juicy. I'm gonna take some bread, some naan, and go in with the rice and the salad to try that out together. Ooh, that's a lot. I think it's more salad. Mm. Ooh, nice and sour. Great flavor. Finished off with our pilaf. That was absolutely delicious. The, these types of foods are just so hearty, so you get full really fast, but there's a couple other things we really want to try here, so we're gonna keep eating. This is such an interesting market. You honestly hear more English than Chinese here, and there's people from all walks of life here, and it's just starting to pick up. It's about probably 12.45, yeah. one o'clock maybe, and it's really starting to pick up now, and there's a lot of people here, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Next up, we've got this really interesting kind of dessert of yogurt and ice and a little bit of sugar. Um, they were chopping off this huge ice block and you can see here there is this massive bowl of ice for only 10 yuan and there is tons of yogurt as well. So let me give this a try here. Oh yum. Mm. Oh, super, super sour and super refreshing. Not too sweet at all, but that yogurt is where all that flavor is coming from. Super velvety smooth and nice and sour. Oh man, that's delicious. Mm. That is perfect for today because it is smoking hot out here in Guangzhou. And the owners of this stall were really friendly and he was putting on a little show, uh, cracking up that ice for us. This is so good. This is like my dream dessert. It is ultra sour, super creamy, and nice and cold and refreshing. This is to die for here in Guangzhou. Let's try this. Oh man. It's not the thickest yogurt ever. It's actually quite like watered down, but with that ice, so refreshing. That yogurt was unreal, honestly. That just cooled my body temperature quite a bit. This market is really starting to get busy now and the people here are just really, really friendly. And it's quite easy actually as a tourist because uh, everyone speaks pretty good English. And you know, there's people from all different parts of the world here, but the majority 
cuisine representation here, it would be the Hui ethnic minority Chinese and also the Uyghur group. And that food comes from, like I mentioned earlier, the far west of China, but man, it is just so good. This food I could just eat all day long. <laughs> Next food today, and I'm not exactly sure what the name of this dish is, but it's basically like a stew, a halal stew full of tons of tons of ingredients. So let me try to identify everything. So we've got some pieces of lamb, maybe rib there. It looks like we've got some noodles. There is a few different types of these fungus, so one brown one like that. Another one like this, looks like some radish, some cilantro, there is chili in that broth, there is peppers here, uh, this is lang, liang fun, which is like a jelly, and I'm definitely missing some things, there's carrots, yeah, wow, this is just quite a crazy, hearty looking stew. So let me kind of mix this around here, and I'm just gonna try whatever I get in my chopsticks. Mm. I got all kinds of different things in that bite. I definitely tasted some of that radish, some fungus, and some of those noodles. And that is quite a spicy and salty broth. So many hearty ingredients in here. Once again, this is just one of those foods that's almost like a delicious survival food. Oh look, there's even a meatball in here. Let's try that with some of the spicy broth. Mmm. 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 I think that's a lamb meatball and whew, that is quite spicy and quite salty too. It's not my favorite. This is quite a unique dish. There's all kinds of different textures and flavors going on in there, but it is very salty, like too salty. It's kind of hard to eat, especially on a hot day like today. I like the textures and I like the spiciness, but too salty for me. I've had similar dishes to that soup before when we were in Xi'an and it was really delicious. I think that just wasn't the best version of it. Um, it is quite spicy, so our mouths are on fire and I think we're gonna order up some pomegranate juice now. So at this market you will find a few different stalls selling this. This is pomegranate juice and this is actually a Xinjiang specialty. They are squeezing it fresh right now and they serve it to you cold or warm. We got ourselves a cold bottle of juice and I don't know if I've ever actually tried pomegranate juice so I'm really excited to try. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Mmm. Oh wow. That's only a little sweet. It's quite sour and it's very pulpy. There's a lot of pomegranate pieces inside, so you know it's fresh. We are absolutely stuffed. We bought a couple extra naan to go home with us. We had them earlier and they were really good. We have a big train ahead of us tomorrow, nine hours to Western China, Yunnan province, to Kunming. So we're hoping we're gonna make a video for you guys there, but this is the end of our Guangzhou series. It has been incredible. The food here is so good. I know today's video is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter one just because we only went to the market here, the Muslim morning market in Guangzhou. And it is a quite a small market, but there's tons of good food and the people here are really, really friendly. So hopefully we will make a video for you in Kunming. If not, the next videos you will see will be from India. So we are going to Jaipur and New Delhi. We are so excited to get back to India and make a ton of videos for you guys. This time, if you didn't check out the previous Guangzhou videos, all the links for day one, two, and three will be down below. We ate a ton of good food and I'd love to hear what you guys thought of our Guangzhou series. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post new videos. And we will see you again from China or India very soon. Bye-bye.